Hi everybody, I'm Robert Linkle with Elite Sports University and this is the Career Development Corner. Uh, today we're going to talk about the basic components for social media and how to use your social media efficiently uh, and a really um, productive marketing component I guess I would say. Uh, the first thing you need to know before really diving into social media, which one's best for you and how to use it, is uh, what is your demographic? Who are you trying to reach? And then understanding how you're going to reach those individuals. It's either a direct uh, marketing approach straight to them or it's going to be an indirect approach to their parents or to the kid directly or however we're going to do that. So we'll kind of take a look at that a little bit here and then based off of the demographic that you're pursuing we can kind of pick the right tools for you to, uh, to utilize. Um, five to twelve year olds typically the marketing is indirect it's towards the parents so you're not uh, marketing or putting up social media posts for a five year old you're sending it to their parents typically the parents are on Facebook and they are going to find that hard copy content or further information from you uh, through rec centers, through schools, or going online from there. So uh, if that's the demographic you're pursuing, Facebook, marketing directed towards the parents is going to be probably most efficient. You see the different tools we have there working all the way down, 13 to 18 year olds. Twitter is definitely the best product for you there. 18 to 25 year olds, you have a kind of a combo between Twitter and Instagram and how to reach them there. And then pretty much from 30 up, your best social media tool is going to be Facebook. That's where the older demographics are spending most of their time either looking for friends, family, colleagues, or products and such that they're looking to review on. So once we get up into the 65 and plus, nowadays, I'd say 10 years ago, social media was not terribly popular with the older demographics, but nowadays, uh, a lot of parents, grandparents, great-grandparents are looking to stay in touch with their kids and their grandkids and their great-grandkids. So they're getting a lot more involved with social media. Even with the older demographic, Facebook's still number one. However, they still read and like to look through hard copy content if you're directing uh, your marketing towards them. Uh, so newspaper ads, uh, flyers, handouts, they still look through their newspaper. They still look through their mail when they get it in there. They're looking at flyers when they're checking out the grocery stores. Uh, so opportunities like that, uh, I think you'll be able to find a pretty good reach to those individuals. A lot of social medias, uh, I've heard a lot of trainers, like you have to have or coaches, you have to have a social media presence on every single one of these. Uh, I'm a big fan of doing one really, really well and then having directed content on some of the other ones. So at the end here, you'll see I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Instagram, and that's about it. And my LinkedIn and my Instagram kind of point everybody to my Facebook page. My demographic is 40 to 60 year olds, so I would prefer people to kind of you know, funnel down into my Facebook page where I do a lot of my social media marketing on there. Okay. So once we kind of know what demographic you're looking to pursue, you have a little bit better idea of what tool is going to be most efficient for you to use. One other thing before we end, recognize and understand that social media to use is free, but it's not free as far as time and investment on your end. If you're investing an hour a day into social media and there's not a return back on that, you're not getting more business to come in, then in a sense you're losing money. You could That could be an hour you're out training people, right? Uh, so make sure the social media reaches that you're doing are giving some kind of return. And it's as simple as a new client comes in. Well, how did you hear about us today? Well, I saw your social media raffle or your reward referral program or, you know, you bring a guest for free or whatever it was. Find out which one of those is really working well for you and keep pursuing that one. doesn't mean you can't try other things, but once you find where your bread is buttered, so to speak, go with that. Keep pursuing that. Make sure you're doing that one really well as you reach out to some of these other avenues. My name is Robert Lingo with Elite Sports University. Hope you enjoyed today. All my contact information uh, down below. Feel free to uh, email me, contact me, send me questions, follow me on Facebook and such. I'd be happy to uh, uh, you know, entertain any questions there. I'm always happy to help out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.